Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th. I guess I had the date wrong yesterday. What is today, anyway? I don't even know what today is. Hold on, I look at the clock. Today's 29th, for around the 29th. I <laughs> look at the calendar. Anyhow, the ant lives, just so you know, the ant is not dead. Um, and he's apparently lives here. And um, and only I see one, I see one ant, and he's been here during one of my private readings that I did just a little while ago. I did open more slots for private readings if uh, you're looking for one. I will put the link below. It's also in my community section. They will go fast, just like the other ones, so uh, get them while they're hot. Um, let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 29th, knowing that the timing is fluid? I know I'm going to be getting my surgery soon, so I suspect there will not be private readings for a long time after this. So that's why I opened them back up, I, and um, I got so many requests, and anyhow. Eight of Pentacles reversed. So that's not putting in effort. Something not working out. Something not working out. Somebody's not putting in enough effort. They're not working hard enough. Death. Death reversed. Now, death reversed could be extreme. Okay, in reverse, it's extreme. Okay, or absence of. Holding on is getting old. Holding on is getting old to a situation where somebody's not really putting in very much effort, right? It's nearly done. It's not dead. Interesting. Interesting. The ant isn't dead. It nearly died, but it's still alive. Interesting. Interesting. It's not dead. It's not dead yet. Hmm. Interesting. It's not dead yet, but it's close. But it seems to be walking fine. But anyhow, let's get back to the cards. Um, death card reverse. This is a near-death experience, perhaps. Or, you know, uh, there could be a disaster ahead. Or if something is nearly done. It's nearly over. Um, somebody's not putting in enough effort. It's not working out. Hmm. the moon all is not as it seems all is not as it seems so there's some sort of hidden forces here there's something below the surface that isn't uh, being shown okay uh, some, uh, we got a crab right here we could be dealing with a cancer we could be dealing with a Pisces could be dealing with a Scorpio cancer Pisces Scorpio all is not as it seems. It doesn't have to be. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, now, there's there's something that is about to pop up. Hmm. They're about to show up. There's some sort of, there's something going on here below, below the surface that is about to pop up. It's coming out. Somebody's hiding something. Hmm. Protecting themselves or something like that. Got a hard shell right here. That looks like a lobster to me. Something about lobster. Um, something is going on. This holding on is getting old. It's nearly over. Working, somebody not working, something isn't working. Mm. All is not as it seems. There's some sort of uh, you need to proceed with caution, follow your gut. There's somebody maybe lying, they're lying, somebody's lying, they're not really working. What the hell is going on? Hmm. Ace of Cups. Now this is feelings. Ace of Cups is a flood of emotion. 
Now that the Ace of Cups is, is an opportunity for new love, it's things getting better. This is expressing feelings, expressing emotion. This is a new start in love. Hmm. All is it not as it seems. This is this is somebody offering love. Okay, it's not over yet. Hmm. Lack of reciprocation, one-sidedness. There's some sort of one-sidedness here. This is the hand of God offering somebody an opportunity for love. This is proceeding with caution, not really putting in effort. Somebody's not really putting in effort. They're not giving to the situation. They may be protecting themselves. You know, there's a shell. Lobsters are in a shell. There's some sort of shell. They're hiding their feelings. But there is a big opportunity for love. And uh, this death card reversed, though, is, is, is a incident there's a delay there's indecision there's indecision as to whether somebody should proceed so somebody is proceeding with caution because of fear they're not really putting in effort they're not putting in very much effort interesting thinking about it though thinking about investing maybe thinking about moving thinking about relocating thinking about you know, their stability and what they have to offer and what's left and what they should do. So we definitely have an individual that is pondering, pondering, you know, what they want. Whew. Ah. Ten of Swords reversed. Now, the, with the death reversed, this is definitely a near-death situation. It's nearly over. Something may not survive. Okay? This is... This could be something coming back from the dead as well. You know, somebody wasn't putting in effort. They were hiding their feelings. Uh, they were thinking about it. They they couldn't make up their mind. Very a lot of confusion here. Somebody wasn't putting in effort because they were confused. They were protecting themselves. Uh, whatever. But this is 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 uh, may not survive. You know, this is may not survive. It's it's. Uh, things getting worse something may be getting worse or it has gotten worse somebody we could also i mean the ace of cups is a big heart so there could be somebody and i hate to say this could be somebody that has some heart problems and they're getting worse but anyhow um this is like a this could be not surviving something may not survive there could be you know a relationship that doesn't survive because somebody's doing too much thinking they're too fearful they're thinking they're they're over analyzing you know they're very stubborn you now we get the four pentacles here somebody may be really focused on their job they're not they're not giving to uh love they're not following their heart something is going on here now this is definitely it's either a death or a near death experience okay it's either or all is not as it seems. This is this there's this is proceed with caution. It is. Um, there's going to be a flood of emotion. There is. This is you made your bed now lie in it. This is this is a very painful separation of some sort. It's a separation. It's painful. Okay. Somebody is 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 feeling some sort of pain. And they're feeling some sort of pain because they didn't give, they didn't invest, you know, they didn't invest while it was still alive. Okay, it's not alive or it's close to death or something like that. Um, Ten of Swords reversed. Beyond help. Chronic, there could be some chronic health problems here too, you know. Um... Ah, oh, there's the four of pentacles. I was just clarifying. Interesting. So we we do have we have from somebody here that is very stubborn. They've been holding on. They've been holding on. They've been um, very set in their ways. Greedy, selfish, not really giving. 
So we have an individual that really hasn't been very giving, definitely not, very selfish and greedy, but very greedy individual here that is hiding something because this is hiding something. All is not as it seems. They may, somebody may be hiding money as well. They're hiding money. They could be stealing. Okay, this could be theft. Somebody could be hiding or laundering or whatever you want to call that. Somebody, you know, stealing from their job, stealing from their work. What do you call that? Begins with E. I don't even know what you call that. Um, begins with E, though. There's definitely something to do with money here, hiding money. What the hell is that called? Anyhow, we have a very selfish, greedy individual that is, you know, this is like, um, oh God, it's bugging me. It's really bugging me, the name, and it's funny, we talked about a bug at the beginning, but anyway, trying to figure out what that word is but anyhow um that ten of swords reverse this is a near-death experience it's dead it is or it is a death of some sort we have a very selfish individual that is going to pay this is you made your bed now you gotta lie in it you're gonna pay for this you're gonna pay somebody's gonna be paying something they're gonna pay something it feels like they're gonna get caught they're gonna get caught that's what it feels like to me there's going to be definitely a flood of emotion here it's gonna be very emotional um, now what I just heard was that song where is the love by by I don't know who the hell sings it um, I don't know where is the love because it's about greed and love you know a lot of people are being greedy at this time Anyhow, I don't know where that's coming from, but we are, maybe we ought to play the song, but where is the love? But anyhow, this is, this is, um, proceed with caution. All is not as it seems. Somebody is, is doing something that they could, this could be a fraud. They're doing something that is against the law. This is somebody that is very selfish. Um, I don't know what is going to happen, but it doesn't look good to me. Um, not happy definitely not healthy this is poor health it is extreme health problems here somebody is not healthy they are definitely not healthy and I think there's going to be you know some consequences I think there's some consequences here um, now that I figured this is the hand of God it is the ace of cups is the hand of God coming out you know this is very this is intuition this is the gateway to intuition somebody's intuition is is going to give them a message they're going to give them a message about an individual that doesn't have good intentions somebody is stealing or they're thieving or whatever they're hiding money and they're going to get caught it's going to be shown it is it's right now what what is in the what is there's there's darkness there's shadow somebody is hiding something and and i think that they've been hiding it that maybe they've been hiding their true selves or whatever something is definitely going on um the sun reverse this is not happy this is um sadness poor logic unhealthy false impressions we do have somebody here that is putting out false impressions and they've been getting away with it um, there's going to be, somebody may not be being honest with themselves. There could be some loneliness due to, to disillusionment. Somebody is lonely because they're disillusioned. You know, they're very stubborn. They're set in their ways. They're protecting. Somebody is protecting themselves, you know, and now there's something that is dying and it's, it's too late. It's too late. Um, now there's no reciprocation there's a one-sided broken relationship here okay whatever it is somebody's not happy there's poor health health is declining there's no coming back whatever that means um now this ace of cups is a flood of emotion. This is, uh, somebody is investing in something that is not healthy. I'm telling you what, it is not healthy. This is, this is poor logic. It really is. This is, this is, this is somebody is working out of their shadow self. And they may not survive. 
okay they may not survive this is this is a disaster um, this is not gonna work out this is really not gonna work out we have somebody here that is is deceiving okay they're being deceitful they're stealing or they're thieving or something like that and it feels like uh, they're gonna be really upset because it feels like they're gonna get caught they're gonna get caught um, anyhow let's get one more card the ace of cups is a flood of emotion it's a gateway of in intuition um, this person is analyzing they see they see what's going on it's like that something isn't growing they're gonna so they're gonna catch this other person that is is stealing or something like that um, Two of Wands reversed. Now there's there's definitely a delay. There's a delay. There's there's um, an imbalance of some sort. There's somebody has made a poor choice. There's there's uh, restrictions. There's lack of planning. Somebody didn't plan effectively. They didn't plan effectively, and there's fear. There's definitely some fear. There's fear of, of uh, not having enough with that Seven of Pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that is definitely in their shadow. They're in their shadow self. They need to do shadow work anyway. Um, deciding not to go. Somebody is deciding not to go. They're deciding not to... If this has to do with a relationship, somebody is disillusioned. They're disillusioned by fear. Okay, they're disillusioned by fear and they're deciding not to go. They're deciding not to open their heart because of fear. Because this is fear. We have some sort of fear here. But there are some sort of hidden forces that are going to reveal something. They're going to reveal something. And it's going to be a painful reveal. It is going to be painful. It has to. It's going to reveal greedy behavior. It's going to reveal theft. It's going to reveal uh, disillusionment. Somebody's disillusionment is going to be revealed. Okay. It's going to happen suddenly. There's going to be a sudden reveal. Okay. Um, this has to do with love. It has to do with your heart. It has to do with emotion. It has to do with true love. It has to do with... Um, intuition as well there's a lot of intuition here somebody's intuition they've been ignoring they're delaying or whatever definitely not in their um, positive light okay it's gonna something's gonna be shown something that has been hidden is gonna be shown somebody may have been protecting themselves as well protecting themselves from opening their heart or from uh, going in a new direction there's fear of change here fear of and restricting somebody's been restricting themselves by withholding they've been withholding emotion or withholding you know putting in effort or something like that um but this this could be a, a, a this is like a sudden departure or a sudden arrival somebody could, could be coming in very 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 fast There could be a sudden change of some sort. It happens very much all of a sudden. This person has been thinking about following their heart. They've been thinking about opening their heart. They've been very fearful because I can see the fear. And they whatever this has to do with a relationship. If it's about a relationship. For some of you, it's about theft. It's about thieving, stealing. Um, but the death card reversed with the ten of swords reversed is it could be a disaster. This is and it's held back by fear as well. Somebody's held back by fear for somebody, and it's nearly dead. There could be a relationship that is nearly dead. The chance is nearly dead. This or this is somebody that is very unhealthy and they're nearly, you know, at the end. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. There's going to be a change because this is a profound change. It is. It's been cooking below the surface. It's It's been waiting for the moment, okay? The moment is coming. It's either... Uh,
Oh, what I wanted to say was, um, oh, never mind, I'm not going to say it. Um, it's a near-death experience, put it that way. This is a near-death experience. It's, it's either do it now or lose your chance. And I don't know what that means for whoever. Um, there is an opportunity for love, but it's nearly too late. We have somebody here that is very set in their ways and is protecting themselves. They have been very fearful of stepping into new territory. They are disillusioned. They're disillusioned by money, perhaps, or their job, or they've been burying themselves in their work, or whatever the case is. We have a couple different stories here, though, because I do see... I do see um, this is getting fired, being terminated. Somebody may be getting terminated. They're not working hard enough or they're not or they're stealing on the job or something like that. There's definitely something going on below the surface that is about to be uh, revealed. Oh, justice on the bottom. Absolutely. So this is justice. This is karma. This is the laws of karma. This is consequences. I know that it is consequences. I knew that it was. This is this is uh, seeing straight through the situation. The law could be getting involved. Could be karma getting involved. This is a final decision. So there is a, somebody that is is this is finality. So there is a decision that is about to be made. All of a sudden, it's come to the end. It's the end. And I know that's what this is. With the death and the ten of swords reversed, it's come to the end. This is karma or the, you know, universal law or, you know, the real law, whatever you call that, um, stepping in. This is legalities. This is about being honest and upfront. So the things I feel like things are about to change, and I think that, that somebody has been in a fearful situation, but things are, and I think things are going to change for the better. But before it gets better, it gets worse. <laughs> okay, it gets worse before it gets better. So be prepared for some sort of, um, well celebration okay There's, this is this is karmic and this is a release some sort of justice some sort of justice is going to uh, come into play there's consequences there's consequences for not putting in effort there's consequences for hiding there's consequences for stealing there's consequences for breaking the law or there's consequences for uh, letting fear control your life because there's a lot of fear here which leads to loss Anyhow, we have the we have an ending here with that ten of swords. We do. We have a we have we have an ending, we do. But this ending leads to love, however you look at it. It's in the name of love. So anyway, I do feel like we have an individual that is, is going to be speaking the truth. And it's going to change things, okay? It is going to change things. This truth that comes out is going to change things. There could be a sudden departure. There could be a sudden ending. This person has held on. They've held on to their fear. They, they're, they're very unhealthy. They could collapse. This could be a physical collapse.
good luck.